began recording segments for the story behind the song a few weeks ago, I've noticed that a lot of things happened in the year 1992 that led to songs. Well, this is no different. I think it was 1992. It was a Sunday morning, and we were about 15 minutes from beginning a concert during the Sunday school hour at Lower Falls Baptist Church at St. Albans, West Virginia. We'd been in various meetings there over the years and had several friends in that assembly. I saw our friend Glenna as she came through the door that morning. She spotted me immediately as well and with purpose came directly up to me and she said, Oh, thank God, Brother Robert, I was hoping to see you right away because I have to tell you what happened here last week during our revival meeting. She said there was much prayer taking place on behalf of our young people for many weeks prior to the meetings. Several of the adults were praying for wayward youth, and many of the young folks were praying over situations with their parents that they would get right with the Heavenly Father. She said there was such an amazing spirit of conviction that night that came over the congregation, and it got so quiet. At the end of the service, there were young and old alike who came to the front of the auditorium to pray. It was strange, she said, because there was no music at all. and The only sound that could be heard was that of weeping. Some crying softly, others mourning loudly over their sin, while even others began asking forgiveness of one another. And we watched relationships being supernaturally mended. It was one of the greatest meetings I've ever experienced, and after a long while, as the weeping continued, she said, Pastor Gary got up, he came to the pulpit, and through tears of his own said, Oh, pay attention, folks. There's nothing sweeter than what we're hearing this evening. Nothing sweeter, he said, than the cry of the newborn. I said, oh, hallelujah, Glenna, hallelujah, that'll sing. She said, I know, Robert, I knew I had to tell you for that very reason. And here's the song that came out of that experience, and it's co-written with the late Shannon Childress. This, as a matter of fact, became the title song of the next album we recorded early in 1993, and the song is called Cry of the Newborn. heard resounding through the hallway. A father seems so restless and so worn. Then with a shout to celebrate this long awaited day, the father rises to the cry of the Sin has torn Then bursting through the stillness Comes the weaker eyes From a 